and perfect for your golf swing. Joining us live this afternoon, personal trainer Allison Schnelli from the Kaizen Studio Fitness Center to show us how to improve our overall golf fitness. Okay, what are the, the keys we want to hit here? We're going to work a little bit on warming up, but okay. really golf takes everything. Flexibility, mobility, stability, power, strength. Patience. <laughs> a lot, a there lot, are a lot of, of patience. things to pay attention to all at once when you golf. There really are. There's a, a lot of different aspects of the game, the mental aspect, the emotional, the physical aspect. You see a lot more golfers really working on their strength training before the season. So this is a warm-up you really could use before you hit the gym if you're going to you know, do a golf workout or before you go out and play around a golf or before you hit a bucket of balls okay. since we can get outside. So we're going to do everything with a golf club. You are going to start with leg swings. We're going to start with a lower body warm up. So you're going to use the golf Should club I just kind of as, <laughs> <laughs> I won't move the golf club, I promise. You're just going to use, you're going to work on the stability and mobility. So you're going to use your right leg to stabilize and your left leg is going to be swinging, working on that mobilizing. So you're going to go up front and back. Mm -hmm. Warming up your lower body, core is tight, upper body stays nice and tall, posture is really important in golf, so you want to do that when you're warming up. So front to back is your first one, about 10 swings a leg, then you're going to move the golf club to your front, same thing side to side. You're opening up that hip, working on stability, mobility, starting to warm up your core, starting to warm up your hips. Core tight, really work on that. The next one we're going to go is a lower body. We're going to do an ankle mobility, so you're just going to go kneeling. Have the golf club about a foot or two in front of you, depending on your ankle mobility. And mm -hmm. all you're going to do is you're going to shift forward in that lunge and shift backwards. So shifting Ooh. forward, shifting back. That's going to work on kind of warming up the ankle, warming up the calf, keeping your heel on the ground to work on that, the, the ankle. Everything works from the ground up right. when, in any sport, in, including golf. So you're going to do that one. From there, we're going to work on separating your upper body from your lower body. Very important in any rotational sport. So you're going to do a forward lunge. We've done this one before. Forward lunge, upper body stays tall, and you're just going to separate your shoulders from your hip. So come across. Whatever leg is in front, that's the direction you want to rotate. So it's going to be a forward lunge. Rotate over that leg that is out in front of you. Same thing. Posture is like warming really up to go for a run just or before you work out. Exactly. Yep. People think you know sometimes they forget golf is a very athletic sport, and by you know by the second the back nine, you're you're, feeling <laughs> you're tired. You're you know you're tight. So you want to make sure you you warm up properly. Next one, we're going to go to a little bit more upper body. So you're going to okay. hold golf club up overhead, and you're just going to try to separate your rib cage from your hip as much as you can. So you're going to drop down to one side, stretch out. And then drop down to the other side. Same thing about 10 each way. From there, you're going to go lat stretch. So you're going to bring that club up, really using the club to stretch. Push with this hand. Reach up to the ceiling about 20 mm. to 30 seconds, two or three times each. And then your last one, working on that separation again, is going to be holding the golf club up at your shoulders. Touch it on both sides. Go to athletic stance in your golf, in your golf stance. And you're just going to try to move your upper body without moving your lower body. So you want the club end to point down to the ground. And then the club head to point down to the ground, back and forth. Same thing, core tight. It'll warm up. So warm you should do these body. at home and not on the golf course. You can do these on the people golf might course. People in the backyard. You'll, you'll see, in the backyard, you'll see more and more people doing physical things, warming up for their golf game instead of just getting out there and thinking that they can drive the ball however far. They drive it. I need forearm exercises. <laughs> I need forearm exercises because after I hit a bucket of balls, no part of my body hurts more than that than sure. from here to here. Sure, and there's a lot of things you can do, like in a bu bucket of sand or bucket of rice. Do you know moving that to try to warm up or strengthen your forearm? There's a lot of different um, exercises you could do. What about if you, if you have back issues? You have a bad back. Yep, a lot of those rotational things are really going to help warm up the leg swings. You want to make sure your glutes and your hamstrings. A lot of times, you're you get tight in your golf or you, you sit all day and then you go right out to the golf course and you're trying to um, be you know do athletic movements and so your glutes and hamstrings are really tight. So those leg swings, some overhead squats, your lunges, stuff like that will start help, helping to loosen all that up and help relieve the back pain. All right. It's the one day a week we get to make Allison Schnelli run out of breath. Got a question <laughs> you are a little for our experts. <laughs> out of Email breath. them Sweet. at asktheexperttodaystmj4.com. You can also Great. leave a voicemail. <laughs> the number is 967 525